Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and good day to one and all. This uh, During this live, we'll be sharing some more information about the OCAF SA Maths Workshop, uh, which will be kicking off uh, next week sometime. We'll be sharing some more information about that. Um, and we also will be linking up with Mr. Koto shortly, and he'll tell us what he's been up to. So in this live, we'll share some more information about our workshop that aims to prepare grade 10, 11, and 12 um, workshop learners for the final examination. So if you are in school, or you've got a child that's in school, and you are stressing and having sleepless nights um, because of uh, being perhaps underprepared or you need that little bit of support, Pay um, careful attention. We'll be sharing some more information. But let's bring on Mr. Kota. Mr. Kota is the driving force behind K-Way, the K-Way Institute. And he's in the business of maths tuition. He eats, sleeps, and drinks mathematics. And he is our implementing agent and our facilitator for our maths workshop. And he has been on board um, with Oka since 2016. So let's bring on Mr. Kota. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, Mr. Kota. Are you awake? Are you well? Are you alive and kicking? What's happening? Right and fresh and the... early as usual. That's her name. Yes. My co pilot through all our workshops. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum to all our viewers and all our listeners. Um, welcome to the show. Jazakallah. So tell me, Mr. Kota, it's been a while since I reached out to you. So what have you been up to? Any mischief? Anything good? Let us know. <laughs> Always mischief. Uh, the good part is that uh, I've been uh, we heading up uh, the maths department at Roshni Islamic School. Uh, we've taken up that position as well. And we've attended. And now that we're part of the Islamic School and Association of Muslim Schools, we just got back from an amazing conference that took place uh, with international delegates and uh, Muslim schools from around the world um, rewiring um, education and our strategy going forward to set the new narrative for what education is all about uh, for the future, inshallah. Yes, so that was the EMS um, conference that took place in Durban. I believe you met yes. up with Zafar from the Al Falah College. Uh, yes, they were the Zafar is also part of the Association of Muslim Schools, driving force behind um, all these initiatives and putting together uh, such a wonderful conference. So Hilal TV was there. We met a lot of the principals, a lot of colleagues, associates, friends from all the different schools, and uh, we got to share a lot of information. Uh, especially with regard to mathematics and with regard to education as a whole, as to how we're going to take um, education, how we're going to bring Islam into it and set the new narrative for education. Yes, um, I think a few years ago, OCAF conducted a educator training workshop. And this was a nationwide uh, project that we conducted. There was lots of hard work, lots of fun, lots of educators derived some benefit from this. So I think going forward, Mr. Kota, I think our, we got our work cut out and I think we should be providing some sort of an upskill, upskilling workshop for educators uh, that are teaching mathematics and physics and uh, other subjects. Inshallah, inshallah. I think with, uh, with our great initiatives with OCAF and our long standing relationship over the past, I think we're going on to 10 years. It's going to be a decade working with OCAF wow. and uplifting. Uh, South Africa. So, uh, inshallah, maybe for 20, uh, 2024, who knows, inshallah, we might we might be running, like we're running these math workshops and these support sessions for grade 10s, 11s, and 12s, we might even be doing, uh, I think maybe we need to open up that conversation as to how we're going to get uh, educators also onto the platform and share our ideas. It's not about uh, just upskilling them. I mean, there's a lot that we can learn from all the educators around the country so it's just a, a means and a platform where people can exchange ideas and uplift each other work together as one community rather than working uh, as islands 
Yes, that's correct. And and the whole aim why OCAF is doing this and why we in partnership with you, Mr. Kota, is that we believe that we can produce excellence in our schools and we can contribute towards having these centers of excellence. So yes. absolutely. Absolutely. And remember that uh, although we are going live and we are talking, we're talking the talk at the moment. So this is not just a PR exercise just to highlight who Kway is and who Okaf is. But remember, we're walking the walk. We're actually um, engaging the learners into these two day workshops from a variety of provinces. And uh, as I believe this year, um, We've got our new office or our new beaming or broadcast center that's now from Cape Town, as an name. And I think you'll be able to share some, uh, shed some light on that. Previously, we were doing these workshops in person, uh, in pockets across the country. And um, now with the digital domain, we are able to access learners across the country. We used to broadcast from Johannesburg and then Durban from Al Falah. And as a name, you can tell us about our very exciting. Uh, initiative that uh, is coming up very soon uh, from Cape Town. Yes, that's correct, Mr. Kota. It's with great anticipation and excitement that we do inform you that, yes, indeed, this workshop, we do have a venue in Cape Town that we will be hosting it from, and that is none other than South Peninsula High School. We've had a very good and very close relationship uh, with the school. So yes, um, you know, as, as part, and, and we'll share some more information about those dates and what we have uh, in store. So yes, the aim of this workshop to host it online um, was for us to reach a wider audience. That is one. And also to have at certain venues uh, across South Africa, with it was, you know, we started off with um, Johannesburg and then we branched off to Alphala School in KwaZulu Natal. And now we will be having a center here in Cape Town. And we hope to reach more learners and provide a very immersive experience, a fun experience, and a very interactive experience uh, for learners and educators to assist them. So there we go, Mr. Kota, let's get into it. Lots of people have logged on. They want to find out Beautiful. more about our final round fight our uh, for preparation, uh, a workshop that aims to prepare learners for the final exam. Most important is grade 12 um, uh, learners and their preparation. And uh, let us discuss about that uh, there, Mr. Kota, if you can give us some of the dates. As as per our as per our history, I mean, we we promise to deliver a very vibrant, as you said, using your word, immersive experience where we want all the teachers and learners from across the country to engage with us in preparing learners for their mathematics exam. Especially, in fact, we targeting only grade 10, 11, and 12 for this year. And inshallah, we might. Um, who knows in the future we might go down to the lower grades but for now it's just the FET band grade 10, 11 and 12 um, the 14th and 15th of October uh, I think um, we're going to share these dates and for all our viewers and listeners they can diarize these dates the 14th and 15th of October uh, I'm sure Hassanen you'll also put up your links and you'll you'll share all, all your contact details where people can get uh, where um, the public can get more information regarding these dates uh, but the 14th and 15th of October will be beaming from Al Falah College in KZN. It will be an online workshop, a two-day workshop, paper one and paper two for grade 12. So 14 and 15 October, grade 12, will be will be marrying three prelim papers: um, the Gauteng paper, the KZN paper, and the Western Cape paper for grade 12. We'll be putting it together and we'll be devising uh, an intervention strategy to gear these grade 12 learners up uh, for their final exams. A big final push uh, to show them all the different scenarios um, on how to master and to ace their mathematics exams. And inshallah, we hope to get even better results. We got fantastic results last year, alhamdulillah. We've, uh, through our intervention, Hassan, and you can attest to that. You got all the results and all the stats that came through last year. 
that uh, so many of the learners who who scored 100% in mathematics last year were also a product of uh, this very intervention that we're talking about. And uh, we hope to reach a bit bigger audience. So 14 and 15 October, uh, grade 12s. Then the, I think it's the 28th and 29th, that's the name, um, the last weekend in October. That's correct. And that would be from South Peninsula in Western Cape. Again, it's an online. Yes, it's a, it's going to be a hybrid event. So South Peninsula and OCAF will arrange a whole lot of uh, cohort of learners that will be present at South Peninsula, where we'll be engaging with them live and we'll be broadcasting nationally. So stay tuned for that. And that is grade 10. Am I correct? Mm. That's good. That so we're going to take our space rocket to Cape Town. And uh, like we say, the Popaka dance, Mr. Coach. Yes, yes, Cape yes. Town. So you can sing us some, um, some uh, licky. Some African tracks. You know, he is Twitalach, but he likes yeah. this uh, Cape Flats um, kind of a spin to his Afrikaans. And yes, we might have a Gatsby or two. Indulge in. You know, either absolutely, or, absolutely. Or, or What's that place? What's the famous place? Golden Dish, Golden Dish. No, it's Golden <laughs> Dish now. Eh? We don't say. Oh, it's not this. We don't talk. We talk. Uh, you don't. Just <laughs> <Coulter. laughs> Proper. The English. Golden Dish. We the Golden Dish gets me. I, I hope you're organizing that for me for Cape Town. Um, very exciting. Looking really forward to that to engage with uh, our Cape learners and uh, Cape audience. Um, and beaming live from Western Cape. Uh, it's after a decade again that I'm coming through back to Cape Town. I was there 10 years ago um, when we were doing the intervention in Mitchell's Plain and uh, Kailicha and the whole South Peninsula. So Cape is the second home to me as well. So yeah, that is grade 10 on the 28th and 29th of October. Uh, and then on the 4th and 5th of November, we'll be That's beaming great. from the Roshni Islamic School in um in Gauteng and there we will we will be tackling the grade 11 content paper one on the saturday paper two on the sunday it's uh, the whole weekend uh, just to ensure that these learners are fully prepped for their final exams uh, after the fourth and fifth the entire country goes into exam mode so that would be our final workshop so guys i hope you got these dates 14 and 15 october let me just repeat those dates 14 and 15 october and that would be from al Falah college and that's for grade 12 28th and 29th october that would be for grade 10s and that is from south peninsula in western cape and then the fourth and first of november for grade 11s and that is from the roshni islamic school so yeah a bumper program um an experience uh prepared for our South African learners and uh, looking forward to engaging with you as my co-pilot, as usual, as a name. There we go. So the one thing Mr. Kote didn't emphasize a little bit, um, you know, about this workshop, that yes, it does have a very big cohort of online learners, but we also go in person to school and we have this workshop in person at centers across South Africa. So we engage with educators, with the learners, they're able to pose questions. All uh, online uh, participants can also pose questions. And lots of the online participants have been adding value to this program through the enthusiasm, the energy. So it's a two-way conversation. It's interactive. It's from the in-person cohorts that's um, in attendance as well as online. And it's also a very energetic uh, program. And, you know, we have lots of fun on the session. Any concluding remarks there, Mr. Kota, before we uh, sign off? Uh, looking forward to engaging with all the learners. I know it's been a tough year. Um, mathematics gets uh, more challenging as the years go by. Uh, but uh, we just want to tell South Africa that we got your back. And um, we, like the old saying goes, we can take a horse to the water. We can't make you drink. So we are forcing um, or we are encouraging the, the, the audience or the participants to actively participate in the learning process and to engage with us um, in order to see that results. We can show you how it's done, but in order to master the concepts, you have got to really engage uh, with us. So, Jazakallah again to 
Okaf South Africa, Jazakallah to Uncle Zainul and uh, Zafar and uh, Hassanain and the entire Mikhail and the entire team uh, from Okaf South Africa. And yeah, looking forward to engaging with everybody. So in the description of this video, we will be posting the OCAP SA web address. All that you need to do if you're in grade 10, 11 and 12, we'll be posting the registration links on our website. You can see that address on screen right now. It's ocafsa.org.za, ocafsa.org.za. This workshop is free of charge. It's for everyone from Amzanzi. All that you need to do, you need to register. Um, if you are a participant, if you're a parent tuning in, if you're um, a teacher, log on and, and, and register your learners. When they do register, you will receive the um, stream links. And in this video, we will be also posting the address for this. So this session is absolutely free. Everyone can attend grades 10, 11, and 12. We'll post the dates of the respective workshops. The session will be hosted on YouTube's uh, OCAV SH YouTube and Facebook platforms. So it's, it's free and you can uh, refer back to the videos of the session as part of your revision. So if you are in grade 10, uh, please do subscribe or, um, to our YouTube channel, grades 11 and 12. We really love for lots of the grade 10s to come on board this year. It's going to be a very fun and interactive session. And we hope that you stay with the OCAF SA um, online maths workshop series as we go along. Next year, perhaps you'll be in grade 11 and grade 12. OCAF will be here. Uh, to assist you for your final examination. Please be in mind that this workshop is hosted by OCAF SA in association with the K-Way Institute, headed by Mr. Kota, the Department of Basic Education, as well as iSkill. All right, that's it uh, from me and you. Uh, we'll be posting some more information online. And the next time you see myself and Mr. Kota, this will be during... Uh, the up-and-coming maths workshop for grade 12 learners taking place on the 14th and the 15th of October. See you then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and have a great day.